So what are some of the specific strategies that organizations like Women in Cybersecurity and CyberX are using uh, to make hiring, creating, and you know, leadership roles more accessible to women and uh, other diverse candidates? Sure. So I think awareness is one fundamental area, but I think they're developing programs and pathways in support of pipeline development for diverse talent pools. And that's helping mm -hmm. the community see more success on this front. Right. There's a shift going on right now um, to attract, retain, and grow resources. Yes. So attracting new talent in the cyberspace, that is happening. And I think companies and organizations um, are now finding candidates that historically didn't exist or they didn't have. Um, I don't remember anyone coming to my school when I was a kid uh, suggesting that girls should be in STEM or a related field. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. I, I just don't remember that happening. And yeah. I know that I've actively been uh, doing outreach and like personally, and I know that that's happening. Um, I know we're not yet reaching all of the schools. Like I know that there are um, there are underrepresented groups that we're not we're not hitting their schools yet. And right. I know we need to. Um, mm -hmm. There's strides happening that are kind of making that that happen. We're just not there yet. Mm -hmm. um, I think retaining is an interesting topic. I think companies are very much aware that retaining talent is a key factor. Yes. We need to see more companies invest in their employees. Um, there's a lot of opportunities uh, to go to other companies right now. And if you don't treat your employees well and invest in them, the underrepresented, the diversity of thought, um, I think somebody else will. Um, and, and women in cyber and cyber acts give uh, underrepresented groups the ability to also have a voice in a community that if you don't have that in your own organization, they do feel like they have that. So that's a that's a great win, uh, oh, yeah. in my opinion, um, and something that is very valuable um, there. Yes. Growing resources, I think, like really investing in careers and development as a person, like we want our people to have a long and rewarding career as with companies, uh, many studies show that, you know, this is something that, you know, generation, like one or two generations ago, like they stayed with companies for a very, very long time, oh, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I think if you find a way to keep an employee, an employee growing uh, in their career, they're gonna be wildly successful as an organization. And I think Wieses and CyberX is tackling these problems very well and bringing like minded people together and yeah. giving them a voice and training and supporting and a platform and then connecting businesses to solve this very problem. Um, but there is also a school I need to give a big shout out to is the mm -hmm. Rogers Catalyst uh, program at Toronto Metropolitan or Rogers Cybersecure Catalyst program. Um, okay. They're doing such wonderful things for diversity and those transitioning in their careers as well. So um, those organizations are really trying to capitalize on like finding spaces and and helping people kind of get in there. So you know I think that there's we're we're not in a place where it's perfect, but I know that there's active movement in, oh, in yeah. that area to do, to do, to do something different. And that's good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the four years that I've been hosting this podcast, you know, I've seen the conversation mm -hmm. change, you know, slowly, but, but real. So originally it was, you know, well, we, why hire diverse candidates? We just look for diverse thought. And then it, it, it grounds slowly towards, well, we'd like to hire diverse candidates, but Ooh. they just never answer our job listings to <laughs> sort of a slowly growing understanding of the need to change the way you market your job listings and where you advertise your job. So where are you seeing us still falling you know, failing on the job in this re uh, regard, and and especially in terms of of mobility within the organization, how do we go about addressing job mobility in a way that we don't end up having a diverse SOC but a monocultural C suite? Right. So, uh, sixty seven percent more job seekers are now looking for diversity, according to BGC.com. Mm -hmm. How diverse leader leadership teams boost innovation. That was one of the quotes I had uh, on yes. a cheat sheet note. Okay. Yes. Um, which is good. Um, uh, this is this is a good thing. I think many companies have started to develop programs for up and coming diverse and underrepresented talent. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of companies have executive coaching and mentorship and training mm -hmm. programs to show up this gap. Right. Um, and I think there's a strong desire for change and vis visible action by many co companies on this front. I know we're not all there yet, but I think that there's a lot more awareness. There's a lot more diversity, um, like you know, a focus on it right now. And I think we're all coming from a place of learning and uh, and trying to figure this out. Um, 
I don't think we have the answer yet in, in a lot of places, but, but the more we try and, and learn and support these, these different, um, avenues, the, the WESIS, the, the, um, you know, all of the, the blacks in tech, that Mm -hmm. kind of thing. I think at the end of the day, if we come from a place of, of belonging and inclusion and diversity, I think, I think this whole, this whole um, ecosystem of cyber talent, it's just, it's going to get better. It's going to get stronger. And, you know, we, nothing's going to stop us. We're going to get this. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.